Last night was one to remember for any Louisville sports fan as Racing Louisville FC made its NWSL debut. But one club supporter had herself a night she will never forget, and that is Ellie Hurley. Ellie is a little girl who is just infectious to be around. Her smile never stops. Her energy never drops. And for someone so young who's been through so much, she's a perfect example of how representation on the professional level can be so inspiring for little girls like her whose passion is so clear. To my BFF for life, you have forever changed my life. Ellie Hurley is crazy about her cats. I never really thought of the women's basketball team coming to see me. And smitten with sports. I love sports so much because of like the intenseness. For somebody who can't play sports, Right now, I don't know that I've really ever seen somebody who loves them as much. It's because they help a nine-year-old belong in the middle of a battle. Sometimes she feels kind of alone in the world. Ellie was diagnosed with leukemia at the age of three. She endured two years of heavy treatment before kindergarten. Then, in 2019, a relapse came with the disease affecting her head and spinal fluid. She had to do radiation. She's lost her hair, I think, five times total at this point. <laughs> And um, for a little girl to lose her hair, it's really super hard. I keep my spirits up with spending time with my mom. Which includes a new sport to obsess over. She watched the U.S. Women's National Team. That's all that it took, and she was hooked after that. It was the first time that she saw a girl doing something professionally. I didn't know there was such thing as girls' soccer, and it's... I think it's much cooler to me because I'm a girl. She was really excited to play soccer this year, but she couldn't because she's got her port. Um, and if that gets damaged, we have to go immediately to the hospital. And Take a guess what mom bought today. Instead, her mom bought tickets for Racing Louisville FC's inaugural match. We have soccer tickets. Yay! hard just to get to see that there were people who were excited that she was going to come and that, um, you know, kind of were cheering for her to be here was just awesome. A season ticket holder then gave them their club seats. She's just over the moon excited right now. You could see it from there, under a rainbow, or through the rain. She feels like she's a part of everything that's going on. Including the moment resonating for any memory of this match. In the final minutes, racing trails two to one. The free kick sails, header falls, and Hero emerges. Soon, Ellie hopes to be. The disease is in remission with the end of treatment scheduled for July 20th. And as racing's players fall in love with this little girl, seeing them play for the first time shows her she can be just like them. I've always tried to tell her that it doesn't matter. You know, she can do whatever she wants. It means so much to me. It's very inspiring that all these girls can do so much. Well, photojournalist Jessica Farley helped me out on that one. Huge credit to her. You saw the social media reaction from some of those players. Ellie reacting to that goal has about 20,000 views on Twitter. She's been paying attention all day. Her mom posted this photo replying to some of the comments. Quote, I think you may have made her day this morning. Unquote. Can't beat that then.